Hi, welcome to China. This is a coronavirus update. I want to set the record straight for all the Americans who are getting their fake news from CNN, Fox, and other resources. Here it is, uh, Sunday afternoon in China, uh, about 400 miles away from the epicenter of the coronavirus. And uh, you can see people aren't wearing masks. Just common sense. This is a flu virus. Uh, well, it's not fair to say it's a flu virus because flu is influenza. This is a coronavirus, but it's a mild upper respiratory illness. Uh, symptoms range from mild cold all the way up to pneumonia. Typically pneumonia are the patients with uh, low immune systems, uh, the young, the very young, and the very old. To put this in perspective, uh, more people die in gunshot wounds. More people die from uh, infections they catch in hospitals in the U.S. More people die from flu in the U.S. than have died from the coronavirus globally. So let's take a look at some facts and uh, we're going to go shopping here in a bit. Behind me is a grocery store and uh, we'll give some lessons on how to not get the flu this season, not get the coronavirus this season. Uh, once again, I'm 400 miles from the epicenter. You see people aren't really all wearing masks like you hear on the news. <clears throat> uh, the coronavirus is spread through moisture droplets, which means that you got to be careful of people sneezing and coughing because that's the way that that's the way that the airborne uh, coronavirus can get you. Otherwise, the coronavirus, you get it from touching things that have the coronavirus on it and uh, uh, then touching your eyes or your mouth uh, or your nose. So uh, we're going to go in here in just a bit, but let's go over some uh, statistics and facts. Uh, the biggest flu epidemic, of course, was the Spanish flu back in 1918. That's before we had any uh, antibiotics. And although antibiotics don't work on viruses, viruses cause uh, infections in your body when they lower the immune system. So that's why antibiotics are so important as part of the battle against viruses and part of the treatment you'll get in the hospital. Uh, since the uh, Spanish flu, there have been other men many flu epidemics. Uh, on average, there are two new uh, viruses that are discovered every year since 1901. Two new human viruses. So while the coronavirus is a novel new virus, uh, it's just a mild respiratory virus. So it's nothing like the Spanish flu, nothing like the Black Plague. Uh, in America, from influenza, an average of 20 to 30 million people uh, every year get infected, uh, go through the flu. That includes almost a million hospital visits every year and uh, up to 50,000 deaths every year from the flu in the United States. So uh, the coronavirus isn't even over 100 deaths yet uh, and uh, all the deaths have been uh, uh, elderly and young people. Uh, there have been a lot of people who have left the hospital now from uh, China who have been cured. They show that on uh, uh, client China Global Television Network. I think it's G C China Global C G T N. You can check it out on YouTube. But let's go shopping here. I'll give you some tips on how to avoid getting the coronavirus. And while we're in here shopping, I want you to listen closely to uh, how many coughs and sneezes there are because. That's what you really have to look for, look out for when you're looking out for the flu and any kind of virus is people coughing and sneezing. So let's take a look and I'll give you some more pointers when we're in here. The workers all put on masks as part of uh, their boss's requirements. I'm sure the boss doesn't want any sick time.
So let's say you're going to pick out a piece of fruit like this watermelon. The coronavirus can last for five days on this watermelon. So um, when I pick it up, uh, there might be some virus on here. And if there's some virus on here, the only thing I need to do to stop from getting infected is make sure that I wash my hands before I touch my face. Pick up some uh, fruit here. Yeah, I want some hamigua. So if you went to get a bottle of Coke, again, you, uh, the coronavirus could be on the bottle. Just simply wash your hands before you, before you touch your face again. Just in case you're wondering, Budweiser sells here for about a, a dollar a piece for a tall boy. Less than a dollar. So you probably didn't hear one sneeze, one cough the whole time, right? So when you're fearful about going outside, think about that. How many people are coughing around you? How many people are sneezing around you? Nobody. So the chance of you getting an airborne virus are so incredibly low. The chance of you getting a virus that's on a surface, much higher. So just take care of your personal hygiene. Wash your hands before you touch your face and you won't get sick. It's that easy. So once again, from China, 400 miles from the center, epicenter of this, this wild story that everyone's fear-mongering fear -mongering in the U.S., the coronavirus. Oh my God, run, run to the hills. <laughs> American news cracks me up. Huh? Have a good day.